paranormal. Oh, hell. The hell watch too much Criminal Minds. I know, I know, I know. John niggas are gay. Yeah, he cooking up, kid. Yeah, he cooking up, kid. Yes, indeed, man. What is up, y'all? It is your boy, Kim. We back! Really, really, man. How is y'all doing? Now, look. Y'all see the screen behind me. Y'all know I got to talk for just a little bit. We're going to watch some rebounds. We're going to watch rebounds today. It's the weirdest NBA mysteries. Whatever. Man. Weirdest NBA mysteries. But before I get into this, man, look. I just want to tell you right now. Look. I am going to start doing... NBA content in high school basketball. Look, now I know y'all want me to do college. College is a little, it's a little, it's a little shaky. I might be able to throw it in there, here and there, possibly, or we might have to start doing like a live stream or something. But we definitely will be doing NBA content, high school content. So if you like that, check in. You know what I'm saying? If you don't like that, you ain't got to still check in. Just like the video. That's all I ask. So. 10 to 15 likes on this video. We finna. That's what we gonna do every day. Try to. I'm gonna try to get at least one NBA, one high school, or two NBA, two high school. Who knows? I might do five of those in one day. You never know. It don't matter. It shouldn't matter as long as I get it out, right? Okay then. Now hey, look. Without further ado, let's get into it. Let's go. 10 to 15. 10 to 15 likes. Let's go. These are the weirdest mysteries. We have yet to watch rebound. We well, I haven't watched rebound. I, my last video with Jimmy did good. Did 400. That's that's cool. I need I need a thigh wow, but that, that that's fine. You know what I'm saying? I know some of y'all want to see me react to the NBA games. We're going to try to get back to that. We're going to try to get back to that. I promise you that. Okay. Okay. Hey. Hey. Y'all see? You see what your boy... You see what your boy... You see what your boy rocking, god dang it. Thunder were on a flight to Chicago. Mm-hmm. When all of a sudden, a loud thud Ooh. went across the cabin. And the plane started to shake unnaturally. This was not turbulence, because when the team landed just an hour later, they discovered something horrifying. What? The entire nose of their plane was completely caved in. Oh! Bro, y'all know the nose is like the, the, I mean, the wings is pretty, but the nose is there for a reason. It's there for a reason. It's as if something or someone had crashed into them. So what? The players desperate for answers. Delta Airlines was forced He to said aliens, bro, no bird. That's a big bird. Wait a minute. That's a big body bird. <laughs> if a bird moving steel, I'm sure that's steel or metal whatever. That's a big bird. For a few days. So they could provide was the plane likely encountered a bird while on descent. What? Yeah. The problem with that theory is when a plane hits a bird, it gets completely covered in blood. Mm. Closely there's not a single speck on that entire plane. So odds are, you'll never know what truly happened to the Thunder that night. But at least this was just a one-off event. Cause I'll be pissed! Been... What? I'll be hot! Terrorized Facts! For years at the haunted Skirvin Hotel. See, legend has it that in the 1920s, mm -hmm. the hotel's owner... William Skirvin yeah. locked a maid in a room on the 10th floor and being trapped in a tiny hotel room started to drive her insane. Eventually, he decided to throw herself out the window, plummeting over 140 feet to her death. And ever since that day, her ghost has been wandering the hotel. Wait, she fell, she didn't die in there? She didn't die in there? Look at this place. Oh, hell hell no like in 2010 better get on reported hearing strange noises throughout the hotel them up all night long when the bull stayed at the scurvin a couple weeks later for taj gibson to see his bathroom door slammed shut on its own but oh all right all right all right y'all bathroom door slam shut y'all staying in the room <laughs> boy what I'm getting on my knee. What? I'm getting on my knees. The freak. As these incidents were, the scariest encounter came in 2016. When Ain't no after way. After a night of horror, not a world peace shared his traumatic ghost experience. Oh, get the freak. Now look, we, I, okay, if it was anybody else, I would hold it accountable. But Metal World Peace. 
That probably was. I ain't gonna lie. That, that little ghost was probably his little puff of smoke coming out that room. <laughs> That's probably all that was. I'm taking the ghost to court for touching me in the wrong places. Nah, you was just scared. Now, as creepy as the Skirvin Hotel is, if it was, if it's anybody else besides Ron, I, I would have respected. I respect it. The disappearance of retired NBA player Lorenzen Wright has mystified investigators for years. July 18th, 2010, 7.30 p.m. Renzen Wright was visiting his ex-wife, Shira, in Memphis, Tennessee, to help put his kids to bed. And night swiftly approaching, decided to step out the front door and head home. July 19th, 12.18 a.m., just four hours later, a haunting 911 call comes in mm -hmm. from an unknown number at an unknown location. Rebound. Why you gotta talk like that, man? This spooky as hell, man. You should have dropped this in, in October, man. Ah, talking like that. That's gunshots. That's gunshots. That had to be bow, bow. It's gunshots. Yeah. Is officially reported missing. Wow. had seen or heard from him three days. They shot that man. You heard the gunshots. Oh, mommy into his disappearance and it wouldn't be until six days later that the world would finally get some answers he was shot and killed 28 shot and killed his body was found riddled with bullet holes shot and killed I, hey your boy should be a see I, I boy i watch too much criminal minds boy i watch too much criminal minds i know i know i know i know escalating this from a disappearance case up you heard the little pop, pop. He was gone, man. Rest in peace, brother. I watched too much Criminal Minds for this. I should be low-key on the CIA team. I, that, that, that's just me, though. You know what I'm saying? But after seven years, nothing concrete was ever found. So it seemed like whoever murdered Lorenzen remain a mystery forever. Check that baby mama. Check that baby mama. Look at how she running. Look how she running. <laughs> she, look at how she running. Check that baby mama. Check that baby mama. Thanks to an eerie discovery by the FBI. See, the feds found a gun at the bottom of a lake in nearby Mississippi. And this gun not only matched the bullets found on Lorenzo, but also tracked back to a guy named Billy Ray Turner. Oh, Billy. Just so happened to L name. <laughs> <laughs> your black guy named Billy. I know they was on your big ball, big head. Billy, <laughs> I know they was on his head when he was younger, boy. I know they was on his head. Wait, hold on, what? What I tell you, dog? Check the baby mama. Make boy, I'm too, boy, I, I watch too much Criminal Minds, bro. Check the baby mama. So, with police in possession of the murder weapon, two prime suspects. Shira and Billy were arrested just a month later. So July you, of first of all, she was a dub sack. Boy, you couldn't get something better than that? I told Check the Baby Mama. I seen how she was running. Check her. 19, a year so a basically, ugh, that's what he was going for? She had to look better than that when, when he was with her. So basically, this is what happened. He wasn't paying, doing what he had to do for the child support. So her man, Billy Ray Turner, was her man. That was her man. That wasn't no, that wasn't no just coincidental. Like that was her man. So okay, baby, he ain't paying the bills. He ain't doing. He in the NBA. We gonna go pop pop. We gonna get him up out of here. I'm saying, put him in jail. Throw away the key. Finally confessed to orchestrating the murder. Wow. But as horrifying as Lorenzen's story is. This is not the only mystery involving... I should NBA be player. on Criminal Minds, dog. NBA video games Stop playing with me. ...haunted by the ghost of an NBA star. See, back when NBA Jam was first released in 1990... I got NBA Jam in the crib. The what they talking about? ...star Drazen Petrovic. But sadly, two months after the game was released, Drazen tragically died in a car accident. So what they got to do with the game? Day, something ominous has been happening to NBA Jam. I mean, just listen to what their founder, Mark Termel, had to Come say. Come on, dog. Somehow, the coin-operated game in the attract mode, when nobody's playing, every once in a while, would just call out, Petrovich, Petrovic, just out of the blue. And so, you know, people caught on to that, that there was some, felt like a haunted, a haunted yeah. game. And uh, 
so that I don't know how that glitch could happen or what you know, make any sense. Hey. I'm gonna give me a bat. That, 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 I'm done. That gotta get out the house. That's dead. What the freak? Oh, hell no. I'm unplugging that, John. weird stuff going on with this game. But what's even more weird is the NBA player that vanished in the thin air and was never seen again. What the hell is that? Slender, that like Slender Man. Piston center Bison Dele retired from the NBA to pursue his lifelong dream of traveling the world. So, well, that's what he's doing then, right? Hakuna Matata spent the next three years sailing the Pacific Ocean. But on July 6, 2002, something went horribly wrong. Because with his brother Miles and girlfriend Serena, Bison set sail from the port of Tahiti and was never seen again. But no one had heard from Bison in over a week. An investigation was launched by the Tahitian police. And a few days later, they learned that the Hakuna Matata was seen docking at Tahiti just days after Bison had last set sail. Mm -hmm. The problem was, the only person that got off the ship was Bison's brother, Miles. And when police tried to... Well, let's put 2 plus 2 going to equal 4, no matter if you put the 2 upside down, you put the 2 backwards, you put the 2 sideways. It ain't going to matter. My boy killed him. Throw him in the water. Simple. Two most criminal minds, man. I know. Down. He was nowhere to be found. So with no leads to go off of, police decided to interrogate Miles' close friends to try and find some answers. Interrogate the brother, dog. Miles' ex-girlfriend. Miles admitted to attacking Bison on the boat, which is exactly what investigators needed to hear to get a warrant for Miles' arrest. So the feds started their search, trying to hunt him down. And on September 15, 2002, they received an anonymous tip saying that Miles was spotted on a beach in Tijuana, Mexico. Wait, was, so, was he alive? On the scene, expecting to make an arrest. Was he alive? Only to find Miles in a drug-induced coma. Wow, he tried to kill life. himself. And shortly after, he was pronounced dead. Just like that, the investigation was over. And whatever actually happened to Bison, Remains an unsolved mystery. Wow! Now, as strange as this story was, mysteries are only going to get weirder from here. Because there's something so dark about Michael Jordan that it just might have forced him to retire from the NBA. See, in 1993... Right it's his Jordan betting problems, huh? Ring, it's probably... Michael Jordan had a really bad betting, bad betting problem. And everybody knows it. So... Some things that NBA may have could have been, you know, I I don't know much. Don't look at me. Don't 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 get me. I don't know much. But some stuff possibly could have been due to his terrible betting problems. And that that's all I could think of with Michael. World to wonder why. Well, it turns out that Jordan is hiding something scandalous. See, back in 1991, the FBI was investigating a criminal named Slim Buller. They came across a $57,000 check made out to Slim, Ooh. signed by Michael Jordan. And Ooh, after some interrogation, it was revealed that the check was to pay off some gambling debt that Michael owed. Yeah, and Jordan was getting mixed up with some real sketchy people. And not long after, his name popped up in another shady scenario. Because police in North Carolina were investigating the murder of Eddie Dow, a notorious gambler. Wow. $108,000 in checks, signed by Michael Jordan. Wow, Jordan, Jordan. You couldn't, you couldn't help yourself at that back rack, huh? You couldn't help it. Writing these checks because of a gambling debt. So after the second incident, the NBA opened an investigation into Jordan's gambling history, to make sure nothing illegal was going on. But ultimately, they found no wrongdoing. Jordan wasn't punished, and he promised to not get involved with shady gamblers again. Until 1993, when another gambler came forward and claimed that Jordan owed him 1.2 million dollars. So in response, Jordan, not only that, but you, you, okay. First of all, first of all, you betting, but big dog, you losing. You are losing. So stop, <laughs> my boy, Jordan. You can't, bro, Jordan. You're losing bread. You were losing mad bread. One point, well, you was getting money though. He was getting money, y'all. He he was getting that bread. Facts, but he's losing. Like God, you get you get ran up out your bread easy, my boy. I bet Jordan. Let's play 2K. No bet me by 4.5 mil. I I don't have to have it. I'm gonna smoke you. 
investigation mysteriously went away. Wow! It was all just a part of a secret deal he made with the commissioner to avoid an NBA suspension for gambling. Now, we might never know if this was true or not. No, it was true. Jordan was allowed back in the league just a year later, so it didn't turn out too bad. That's probably why he went to go play baseball. Think about it. Think about it. Probably why he went to play baseball. The of what happened in the 2002 playoffs cost the Kings an NBA championship. See, back in 2002, the Kings were squaring off against the Lakers in the Western Conference Finals. But in the fourth quarter of Game 6, with Sacramento just one win away from taking the series, something weird started happening. The referees started calling all kinds of questionable fouls on the Kings. And to make things even weirder, they also kept missing obvious fouls on the Lakers, almost as if they wanted the Lakers to win. And because of all these so they was cheating. Calls, Lakers ended up shooting an NBA playoff record, 27 free throws in the fourth quarter alone. Wow. So LA no, won to win no. Game six. And after the dub, became really suspicious of the refs. Kings coaches, NBA reporters. I mean, a politician even wrote a letter to the commissioner demanding an investigation into this. But despite the outrage, the series went back to LA. The Lakers eliminated the Kings, and the whole incident was put to rest. Wow! So they were cheating. Until 2008. See, former referee Tim Donaghy was facing a prison sentence for illegally betting on games he officiated. And right before his sentencing, he wrote a letter saying that Game Six between the Lakers and Kings was rigged by the refs. And what? When was this? That was just two years ago. So what the heck we going What good is it now? You you think you think you clearing your your sins as, as you go to jail? No, you should just shut up. Don't you shouldn't say nothing. Now now we looking at Kobe like he did something wrong when you was cheating. Goofball. When this letter went public, the NBA's commissioner silenced Donahue, saying his accusations were baseless and were a cheap attempt at getting his prison sentence lowered. So to this day, still unclear which side was telling the truth. But look. There's one final story Stern was in cahoots. I bet you he was. I feel like Sherlock Holmes. I feel like Sherlock Holmes. I ain't gonna lie. Yao Ming might have been literally created by the Chinese government. I heard this one before, didn't I? This is a wild one, bro. This is a wild one because they have some, they got a few tall people coming out of China. But listen, it makes sense. It makes sense. China saw the rising popularity of the NBA. And legend has it that they decided to try and create the next basketball superstar. So their first move... They didn't do a very good job. He didn't last very long. Every woman above 5'9 and every man above 6'6 must play basketball for the country. And this one law led to the discovery of 6'3 female Feng Fengdi and 6'7 male Yao Ziwen. Two players that Chinese officials thought had the perfect genetics to create the next basketball phenom. So allegedly, China's government forced these two to marry. I ain't gonna lie, my boy don't look happy. Look at him. He like, man, I'm only here to put that this, this thing in and be done. I'm not here for much. He don't look happy. Giving birth to Yao Ming. And after growing twice as fast as the average kid, 13-year-old Yao was already six foot six, but it still wasn't tall enough for the Chinese. Thirteen? According to Yao's childhood doctors, they started feeding him experimental growth hormones, all in an attempt to make Yao grow even taller. Hey, I take it. I know. I take it. I take it. I'd be seven foot. I take it. Hey. It's like ten percent. It's like a ten percent. It's like a twenty percent chance you're gonna go to the league also being seven foot. I take it. Let me get that. Let me get that. I gonna make millions. I tell you, I go in the league. I be cooking everybody on, on mommy. I take it. Let me get it. I take it. By the time y'all became an adult, just standing at a ridiculous seven foot six, guaranteeing him a spot in the NBA. My thing is, he was six six at thirteen. Bro, literally was on the verge. He's he was going to be seven feet regardless. They just sped it up. Hell, that stuff may not even work. Ultimate goal: of creating a basketball monster. But you know what my ultimate goal is? For you to click on this video right here. These are times NBA players lost millions of fans. Hey man, go hey hey hey. Let me know if y'all want to see that joint. Oh mommy, I'll watch it for y'all. Let me know. It's an older video. I will look at it. I swear to God. I, I swear. I swear. I'm tripping. I don't know why I'm talking like that. I swear. Um, but 
this was a fire video. I feel like Sherlock Holmes a few a few times. Your boy was your boy was on his in his bag, his criminal minds bag. But anyway, it's your boy Key. I enjoyed this video. Like the video. 10 to 15 likes, man. It's your boy, and I'm out, man. You have a good one. Shout out to Rebound.